Good afternoon, Durham. I'm Rod Jenkins, Director of the Durham County Department of Public Health, and I'm here with very important updates this week. As many of you have heard, the CDC has recommended a pause in the administration of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So we've stopped giving these vaccines here in Durham. The CDC has also shared that the UK variant of COVID-19, a much more contagious variant than the original, is now the most dominant strain of the virus, and it is leading to more cases and hospitalizations. This dangerous trend is most observed in younger people. Finally, with the vaccine supply and locations increasing, we are making changes to our scheduling process. Today, I will address these topics. On Tuesday of this week, the CDC and FDA issued a joint statement recommending that vaccine providers temporarily stop administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This is because across the US, a total of six cases of a rare and severe type of blood clot has been identified in individuals who received this vaccine. These six cases were all women ages 18 to 48, and symptoms occurred six to 13 days after vaccination. To date, more than 6.8 million people have received this vaccine. So with only six cases of these clots reported, it is clear that they are extremely rare. The CDC's ability to identify this pattern and their quick response in pausing this vaccine are evidence that these vaccines are being closely monitored and your safety is top priority. For this reason, we have temporarily stopped administering the J&J &J vaccines here at the health department, and we will not provide them at future events until the CDC approves their use again. If you've already received this vaccine, please remember that your chance of serious health risk is extremely low, less than one in a million. If you have received the J&J &J COVID-19 vaccine and developed severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain, or shortness of breath within three weeks after vaccination, contact your healthcare provider or seek medical care. I know this news might affect your confidence in COVID-19 vaccines, but it is important to know that these vaccines are still extremely safe and effective. To date, nearly 200 million vaccines have been administered in the United States, and these six cases are the only observed pattern of concern. It is still critical that you take your shot, especially now that variants are more common than ever. In fact, the B117 variant more commonly known as the UK variant, is now the predominant strain in the US. This is very concerning, as this variant is significantly more contagious than the original, and it is leading to even more hospitalizations. These hospitalizations and cases aren't just among older and higher risk individuals. Across the United States, we are seeing increases in cases and more hospitalizations than ever before among younger people. As you can see, it is more important than ever to get vaccinated. Fortunately, it is easier than ever to find vaccines. Here at the health department, our supply is finally beginning to meet our demand. And we are pleased that we are now able to reopen our phone scheduling line. Beginning Monday at 9 o'clock a.m., we will close our online scheduling list and open our scheduling phone line at 919-560-HELP, H-E-L-P. That's 919-560-4357. If you are already on our scheduling list when it closes, we will contact you to schedule an appointment. After that time, our phone number will be the only appointment scheduling process. And in most cases, we will be able to schedule you for the very same week. Now is the time to double down on public health safety measures. Last year, as we entered the spring and summer, we began seeing large increases in case rates as more people wanted to travel and spend time away from home. 
If we are not careful, this year will be no different. Remember your three W's. Wear your well-fitted mask. Wait six feet away from others and wash your hands frequently. And of course, get vaccinated. Once you're fully vaccinated, you can begin doing more things like spending time in private with others who are fully vaccinated without wearing masks. Please remember that there are still things you should not do, like spend time in large groups or host gatherings with people who are not fully vaccinated. As long as we don't give up now, this pandemic will soon be a thing of the past. We can do this, Durham.